Listen up, little bums. This is First Ghost and Maru talking. You're still trying to get through the witness's portal, huh? That ain't a door you can just kick open. You even asked some leftover worm for answers. Too bad she led you right to us. Now you need help from the one witch nobody can trust. My boss, Sabathu. Even though she's temporarily dead, she left instructions for this very situation. As usual, you maggots are three steps behind. Savathun will help you on one condition. First, deal with her sister, Zivor Rath. She's the Hive God of War, and the Witness's best general. It's a win-win, see? Don't look so sour. You've already got everything you need. I suggest you start with a witch of your own. Guardian, the witness poses a dire threat, and the Witch Queen holds the answers we seek. But only if we contend with her sister. Amaru has promised us a method for defeating Zivuarath, arranged by Savathun before her death. There is a spire atop her throne world sanctum, a place of dire experiments where she abused the light. With this knowledge, Imaru and I have devised a powerful artifact infused with hive magic. It will allow you to dispel the Witch Queen's trickery and master the spire through a ritual of our own. Even in death, the Witch Queen lays her snares for us. Be careful, Guardian. This is a real privilege, so act like it. Savathun doesn't open a spire to just anyone. If such a place exists... Why lie, when the truth is so much more dangerous? You are not the Witch Queen, and the Guardian is far more dangerous. Please. Sivor Wrath is too much for you to handle. You need our help. And you need ours. Imaru, tell your Lucent Hive to stand down. Savathun's orders are for them to guard the Spire. I'm sure your little glowworms can handle it. I don't like this. Resurrecting Savathun? Using her magic? This is exactly what we wanted to avoid. The Witch Queen knew she could entice us with a common goal. Removing the threat of Zivu Arof. Yeah. And she knew the Vanguard had a little hive acolyte of their own. That's why she's opening up her spire. She thinks you've got what it takes.
crystals bend reality through tightly channeled power. Shatter them to break their control. Staff to cast a little spell of your own. Spires just up ahead. They'll need more than some lightless lackey's fancy eyes to see it. This is where the Witch Queen fell, and you fled for your life. Remember that. We should focus. That was a fluke. Your guardians got lucky. Really? How many of your apostate ghosts have seen the guardian's mercy? Don't you threaten me. I am not threatening you. I am telling you what the guardian will do. So where is this spire? You'll see. Start the ritual to bring down Sabathun's illusion.
the arc charge between the crystals. magic with the witch's staff. You now wield hive magic and have entwined it with your light. Whatever you face next, will test that power to its limits. You think your guardians are up to scratch? What will we find inside the Spire? A way to take down her sister. That's all she told me. And that's all I'm telling you. And she'll uphold her bargain? Give us the information we need. I'll bring her back as soon as Zivu's taken care of. Then you can ask her yourself. Hmm. Guardian, traverse the spire. We shall see what morsel of truth awaits us.
There is nascent light to be found here. We must stoke it and harness its power. Be prepared for anything. Transfer the arc charge to each crystal. It looks like the way up is cleared. Be careful. echo through these halls. She whispers from the past, anticipating each outcome. She left you some recordings. It ain't that deep. You've accepted my proposal. 
We have mutual interests, after all, despite our bad blood. You might not believe me, but I love my sister. But to us Hive, love is death. No one knows more about killing her than I do. There is something vile at the heart of this place, steeped in hive magic, but bound by the light. Savathun planned for this moment. She knew the Guardian would end up here eventually. Eris mourn and toll. crystals to undo their power.
The spire is alive with light. We have redirected the Witch Queen's spells and empowered it to... some end. I am not certain. Hive runes manifest here. Discern their pattern and traverse the Witch Queen's labyrinth. Logic. No, we can't play the Hive God's games. And yet we must. Take the spire.
what did we do? We have reconfigured the inner workings of the Spire and opened the path to its fetid hypogeum. Not how I would have put it, but that's right. There is dire magic here, and I am its conduit. We may use this power to our own ends. Eris, you can't. This is dangerous. Meet with me, Guardian. I will prepare the ritual. Zivu Arath draws strength from our conflict. She believes her logic absolute. I will grasp it and contravene its power. There is no other way. Will you come back from this? Does it matter if I do? What I am has served me and has served humanity. Oh God, Zita. This is what Savathun wants. We serve our interests, not Savathun's. <laughs> She's outmaneuvered you again. <laughs> you need me! We need your silence. <laughs> Guardian, though my form twists in this room-bound circle, I remain Eris Morn, given up to the deep, up to vengeance. The Hive have taken much from me. By naming the worms, I have taken from them, and I must take from you. The splinter of Hive Worm rests in your staff. It is enough to bind us and mark you as my acolyte. By the sword logic of the Hive, your conquests strengthen me. You must tie mightily if I am to become strong enough to defeat Zibu Arath. She draws power from all conflict. She is the blade breaker, war, drinker, conqueror, immortal. I ought. Drown her in blood, 
Add your voice to the chorus of violence. Let us show her what it is to be Hive. Guardian, Eris has detected a gravitic anomaly beneath the spire. She thinks it's a ritual chamber. We call that the Arcane Oubliette. Savathun stores all kinds of drooling goons in there. Warm bodies for her magical experiments. If you want to feed blood and guts to your discount hive god, that's the place to do it. from the well of power and death. I sense the oubliette beneath you, Guardian. Assemble in the ritual space, and we shall harvest the fruit of Sabathun's foul experiments as our own. After I resurrected Sabathun, she was dying to learn about her new light. But she needed test subjects to experiment on. Same way you use the poor slobs and gambit for target practice. Uh, listen to this. I named this chamber the Oubliette. After a human invention. A prison where the only exit is the ceiling, just out of reach. A place for people to be thrown in and forgotten until the time is right. This is where I'll keep in touch with all my bygone subjects, both as a queen and researcher. Do you feel it? The latent power of the Witch Queen's spellcraft? Finalize the ritual to complete the summoning.
surge of hot blood. Where are these subjects being summoned from? Some kind of suspended animation? Or maybe they're teleported from somewhere right into your gun sights. Ah, but what do you care? They're all just dead meat to you. Skill conjures forth horrors once cloistered, awaiting brutal deliverance. And so they shall receive it. Tides the fear and anguish of our foes. Exalt in your retribution. You know why the boss is so much better at magic than you? It's because she's not afraid to make the tough choices. Listen. I'd like to share my experiments with the Guardians one day. Just as we share the light. But I know they won't approve of my methods. They love Ankrit, but hate breaking eggs. Maybe participating in my rituals will expand their provincial sense of morality. <laughs> Expands with each ritual you complete. 
Our powers will grow in tandem until we are ready to challenge the god of war herself. Magic you've unearthed here is undeniable. But watching you and Eris revel in violence, tithing with hive rituals, it was disturbing. Like it or not, your witch is gonna need a lot more tithes before she's powerful enough to challenge Zivu. So go ahead, sport. Make a mess. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to the hive. It's hard not to feel that this is my responsibility. While we in the tower gathered intel and debated over what action to take next, Eris threw herself into a dangerous ritual of her own devising. She was audacious. And she was right. We had to accept Savathun's bargain. We must pursue the witness at any cost. But I didn't imagine we would risk Eris in the exchange. She remains herself. I recognize Eris when I look into her eyes. She wears her new form like a suit of armor, but she speaks of whispers calling to her from the deep, and I have no assurance she can resist them forever. You must embrace the Hive rituals as she did. Offer your tithes so that she may gain the power she desires. And quickly, commit yourself to her guardian. I believe it is in everyone's best interest to keep her metamorphosis as brief as possible. Hive magic reveals itself in precise shapes. They follow the same lines and the same means. And yet our rituals still hold many secrets. Cards have scattered in the wake 
of your oblations. Our bond made manifest. I call them the deck of whispers. And they do whisper. Each of their ideograms appears to carry the weight of symbolism. Do not fault them for the forms they take. They are reflections of the real, and as opaque as the natures of their referent. We will interpret their configurations, divine their use. They may hold many meanings, alone and in conversation. As with all hive magic, they ask us to separate the true from the dead. We will do so. <laughs> 